Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back at the dashboard, getting into our next LP that we're going to start. If you didn't quite see it on the flash on your screen, we're going to be playing a game called Sleeping Dogs. Sleeping Dogs is a game that was developed by United Front Games and Square Enix London. What it actually is, is a third-person action-adventure game with some RPG elements. Yes, I know, uh, quite a mouthful, actually, but we're actually going into this game here. It's actually a lot of fun. And I just beat it the other day, and I'm like, I need to play this again and play it for you guys because I think you would enjoy it. So it's going to be a fairly exciting game with a story that some people think starts off kind of slow, but I think, personally, that it's actually really good. And the more time and thought you give it, in my opinion, the better I think it gets over time. So without further ado, let's start a new game of Sleeping Dogs. I made sure all the options were good and ready to go. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my preferences over and turn off my notifications just in case. Aha, see, I remembered. I learned something from Final Fantasy XIII, too. But anyways, without further ado, let's start ourselves a new game here. Starting a new game will... Over I don't care. I just I want to play Sleeping Dogs, so let's do it. Some basic tutorial stuff that I'll actually be able to skip since I played the game as well, since this won't be a blind run through. I beat it recently, been kind of playing around, been tinkering a little bit. So, definitely should be a good opportunity to see some good gameplay, some kung fu action, as you'll see as time goes on here. But very slowly, you'll be greeted with a, an interesting situation in the evening, which will show off our protagonist, as well as an interesting start to a very, very, very hard to guess. Hello。我打過去。有個位置。咩啊?我知。搞錯個大隻咁大把刀嘅。明白。請幫我,我俾佢冷兵過嚟。嗯,清楚。OK。各單位準備。我睇著佢。你捉個位先好啊。He's <笑> early. I'm not fucking blind. Relax, old boy. We're on the same side, remember? <笑> Look, get you three, four keys a week if you want. What? My shit's not good enough for you? Why? Don't for some mess, yeah? Me, I'll be like, what? Things out? Why you? Come, come, my friend. Just Are you nice. crazy? No, don't. Maybe we can sort something out, huh? Hey, hold on. You see, I'm going to be in the So, okay, move it all out. Did you come? What's up, oh, oh. <laughs> Fucking hell! Don't do it, man. Don't do it! <laughs> And of course, how could any other game start without the protagonist chasing down a bad guy or seemingly running away from the cops as well? So, <laughs> let's do this. And I actually found it kind of interesting too that the game, I'm guessing the game was translated originally or something, man, because what kind of police force would just walk up to you and say, Hong Kong police, don't be an idiot. That just seems kind of a, a weird thing to say in my opinion. But anyways, we still have this. Basically, the sprinting slash movement tutorial of the game, you want to make sure you hit A on target so that you get a speed boost as opposed to you'll pretty much get... Uh, you'll stumble and stutter as, as things like that if you fail the A button, the button command. So, there we go. Nice little disarm on the cop there as well. You'll see some really, really cool stunt moves in this game. It really is a lot of fun in my opinion. But here we go, we're chasing down Naz. He's actually pretty close to us. So we're just going to continue running him down here until we eventually, hopefully, catch him. And of course, you know, what game would it be without just 
running, running, running. It almost seems like a, an action movie sort of trope as we start off here. Because, of course, what good action movie doesn't have running? Jackie Ma. Nanaya, it is you. I can't fucking believe it. What are you doing here? When did you get back? Well, wait. Man, you look like shit. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> you know, 15 years to do that. You know, we're not kids anymore. Whatever, man. Ask anyone. Jackie Ma still looks good. Jackie Ma is still the same old. But good to see you. So what the fuck? They finally deport your ass from the United States? No, it's mutual. Time I came home anyway. Yeah, lock up. Home sweet home. So what'd they get you on? Nothing that'll stick. Ha, <laughs> well don't let them pin any extra shit on you. Fuckers will try, let me tell you. Once they hear you're from old prosperity, happens all the time. Hey, so you still in touch with any of the guys from there? A few, you know. People kind of go their separate ways, but... You remember Winston? He's moved all the way up to Red Pole in the sun on ye. Got a couple of things going with him right now, matter of fact. Huh. Red pole in the sun on ye. Shit, Dog Eyes always said he'd be running that neighborhood. Oh, Dog Eyes is a red pole, too. And still a total poke guy. He was the one who got Winston in. They were pretty tight back then, but now... Hey, wasn't Dog Eyes hanging with your sister? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Hey, remember when we were kids and you stabbed Dog Eyes with a pen? You totally saved my ass that day. Oh, man, I gotta tell Winston that story. He'll fucking love it. Man, way fucking Shen in the flesh. I can't believe it. Looks like I'm out of here. Hey, Jackie. So look, if you and uh, Winston ever need help with any of that shit you got going on with him. Of course, man. Look me up when you get out. It'll just be like old times. seems that the evidence against you has failed to appear. How do you explain that? You must be a very dangerous man, Wei Shen. That is exactly what we want people to think. I trust that my men weren't too rough on you, officer. You might ask them the same question, sir. Those guys are out of shape. It paid off, though. I made contact with Jackie Ma. I'm in. Good work. Use him to get close to Winston Chu. Do whatever it takes. Raymond here will be your handler. You'll report everything through him. Our intel suggests that Winston is looking for muscle. You need to find a way to make him trust you. I've done this before. Not in Hong Kong. American gangs, even Asian ones, don't compare to the triads here. The Sun on Yi is the most powerful Look, gang. Raymond. Your, your name is Raymond, right? Yes. I grew up with these guys. I know who they are, what they are. All the intel reports in the world won't give you that. We want the Red Poles. The lieutenants, like Winston, all of them. And most of all, the dragon head. Candidly, Wei, previous attempts to get close to him haven't panned out. We don't have much to go on. That's why you're here. I'm hoping that you can bring something more to our investigation. I understand, sir. Look, the sooner I'm on the street, the sooner I can start. Raymond will be in touch. Oh, and Wei, good luck out there. Respectfully, sir. Are you sure about him? He'll be under extreme stress maybe for a very long time. Now, I'm not sure he has the discipline to hold up. According to the file, he has a history of... of... 
Extreme behavior. Yes. And an astonishing number of convictions. He obviously blames the Trias for what happened to his family. It could turn into a vendetta. Raymond, Wei Shen is perfect for this job. Man, this is going to be great. Yeah, thanks again, Jackie. Yeah, I appreciate the intro. No problem, man. By the way, you know I tried looking you up a few years back, but I couldn't find shit. Do they have internet in America? <laughs> I think they're getting it next year. I guess you were in prison or something. Come on, let's get out of here. Still getting used to being back, huh? Yeah. So Winston's in Redfall now? All this territory is Winston. But Dog Eyes is pushing in. If they're both Red Poles, shouldn't they be on the same side? Should be. Dog Eyes always was an asshole. Turns out he's a greedy asshole, too. One thing. When we get to Winston's, let me do the introductions. They're really distrustful of new faces right now. It's wild the paranoia. Sun on Yi had a rat. From what I hear, they didn't let him have a quick death. It made it real slow and painful. Hey, are always against me. Hey, Jiu Mei, how are you, baby? Jackie, you know my parents don't want you to talk to me. Your parents don't even know me. Once we get to know each other, they'll love me. They'll kai dai. I'm gonna kill you. Leave him alone. I'm gonna call the cops. Huh? You're gonna kill me. 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 You're gonna kill And there we go, a quick little introduction to pretty much everything that we're going to have to deal with in this game. We have pretty much the story-heavy part of the cutscene here, and now we have everything that has to do with little tutorials to fight as well. So, it's pretty much a tutorial now to do all the fighting moves, pretty much, on these guys. And I pretty much know them all, so you're not going to really have to worry about too much of them. And sorry of the cutscene-heavy beginning here, but... You know, it is what it is. I'll, I'll try to talk when it is prudent for me to do so, but either way, there's so much to say about this game. As you can see, our protagonist, Wei Shen, here is coming back to Hong Kong from America, making contact with Jackie Ma. He's going in as an informant with the Hong Kong Police Department to see, well, to capture really some of the Sun On Yi, which is one of the main gangs in Hong Kong. There's also other rival gangs as well, but we're, what, we're, what we're doing now is moving in to talk to Winston Chu here, so we gotta beat up these assholes first. You kidding me? <laughs> yeah, alright, come the fuck on! And this is pretty much the counter tutorial as well, as well as the grapple tutorial. All the finer points of combat here, as you can see. Pretty much trying to do everything as fast as possible, and, you know, in, in a good fashion. I love the grapples as well in this game, and you can drag them around, throw them over stuff, throw them into stuff. It's it's a good time. I mean, you do a lot of damage. You can see Jackie Ma's just getting his shit pushed in right now <laughs> behind the desk there, so... We're gonna see if they're gonna start attacking us yet. I'm not actually too certain they're gonna actually do that to us right now, but that's fine. We'll just grapple them as well. Do a lot of damage here. It's kind of a shame that this isn't gonna be a 100% playthrough. I might try to unlock as much as I can because... Uh, there's some sort of minor RPG elements to this game. You can unlock more moves by finding Jade statues, which I'll get into later, and by gaining levels in the various faction points, you can get different sort of passives, I guess is how I would describe them in this game. So it's kind of interesting as well if you get into it because, you know, even though the RPG elements don't play a lot of a factor, they do play a little bit. So let's beat this asshole up and see what... Okay. I'm pretty sure... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Boom. Actually, what I want to do is pick him up again and then throw him into this goddamn area. You can do it multiple ways. Damn, Wayne! What did they do to you in America, man? But that would be one of them. I look nasty. You okay? 
Yeah, I'm okay. Bunch of fucking assholes. So, everything's cool? Well, you're welcome anyway. Come on, Jackie. Let's go see Winston. And with that, you've watched another episode of my Sleeping Dogs Let's Play. Thank you so much for your continued viewership. If you want to let me know anything about the game or anything that's on your mind, feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to stick around, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you next time. This has been Duff King 56